Hello, Craig Birch here for Tonks and Tales with yet another weekly darts bulletin around the board as we do here at Tonks and Tales. Most Mondays and plenty to talk about from the world of darts in both the BDO and the PDC since we last spoke seven days ago. I've done it outside today. The, I'm sort of getting myself into the mood for summer. It's not quite as warm as I would like today, but I thought because it's a nice day, we'll do it outside. It's nice, it's nice and bright, I'll say that, but it's not that warm. So I'm just going to go through. We'll start with the PDC. Premier, PDC's um, programme for the last seven days started with the Premier League in Manchester, where it's certainly got a bit interesting for the in the race to win the Premier League this year. All sorts of things transpiring on the night. Some some players are now out. Some players have their dreams ended. Some players are pretty much still in the hunt. So let's just go through what we witnessed at the Manchester Arena last Thursday night as well. Uh, Michael Smith seven, Peter Wright one. Peter Wright is now out of the race to make the playoffs. Michael Smith is still hot on the heels of Michael Van Gerwen for the top place, but and he's now second again after that win as well. Daryl Gurney six. Michael Van Gerwen six. I was with Matthew Ward, who's Daryl Gurney's manager, last Thursday night as the Premier League was transpiring, and he was keeping me up to date all the way through the evening. I don't know how Daryl was doing. That's a really good result for Daryl Gurney. He's still got, a, albeit a slim chance, but he's still got a chance of catching Gary Anderson for fourth place, and a six-six draw with MVG is never a bad result as well. Simon Whitlock, seven, Gary Anderson, five. Gary Anderson still not assured of a playoff spot has yet. He's the only man that can be caught. He's in fourth position at the moment with Daryl Gurney looking like he could catch him. But that, obviously that's all going to ride on the next two Premier League dates before the playoff finals, which are in Birmingham on Thursday night and Aberdeen the following Thursday night as well. A uh, good week for um, just going through the results again as well. Raymond Van Bonneville, six. Rob Cross, six. Rob Cross and Michael Smith are tied on points in second and third at the moment. Moment. And Raymond Van Varnevelt, that draw not good enough for Raymond. He has now has no chance of making the Premier League playoffs as well. The evening finished with the game in hand for the top two. Michael Smith versus Michael Van Gerwen. Michael Smith was a, took a bit of a drub in 7-1 to Michael Van Gerwen as well. What an excellent week for Michael as well. He was uh, awarded the equivalent of the Dutch equivalent of an MBE. He's got uh, he's now three points clear at the top of the Premier League as well. So he's got a game's breathing space. And Behind him is Michael Smith and Rob Cross, both three points behind. Gary Anderson has a three-point cushion on the playoffs in fourth, but he certainly needs, he's got just a little bit more work to do to make sure of a playoff place as well. And Raymond Van Barnabelt, Simon Whitlock and Peter Wright are all now playing for pride as they have no chance of making the playoffs. So Birmingham Thursday night for the Premier League as well. It's going to be Peter Wright, Simon Whitlock. Bit of a dead rubber, that really, because both players are out, but they'll certainly want to, they'll be playing for pride and they'll obviously want to put a show for the for their supporters as well Rob Cross versus Michael Van Gerwen that is a big big match that is Rob Cross and Michael Van Gerwen Cross will need to win to stand any chance of winning the Premier League title and Cross versus MVG he's beaten him before he beat him at the World Championship but in a, in a, this game is half as exciting as the one we witnessed at the Ali Pali at the turn of the year as well it's going to be a fantastic match Daryl Gurney versus Michael Smith as well that's another big game Smith needs to keep the pressure on MVG Daryl Gurney needs to keep alive his playoff hopes so that's another big match as well Gary Anderson versus Raymond Van Barneville Anderson as we've talked about needs need to win to be certain of a playoff place but Raymond Van Barneville will certainly have something to say about that as well Well, because he's he's a proud man is Raymond and I imagine he'll want to go to the very end of the Premier League as well there is also Players Championship at the weekend Players Championship 9 and Players Championship 10 uh, again Michael Van Gerwen's great seven days just continued. He beat Scott Taylor, who had a fantastic run to the final, 6-4 uh, on Saturday in the playoffs. 63rd, 63rd Pro Tour title for Michael Van Gerwen. It's a staggering record. Already his ninth ranking title of this year. So what an excellent year it's been for Michael Van Gerwen so far. He's not the world champion this year, but he's certainly showing world champion sort of form as well. And what do we? Uh, Players Championship Ten was on Sunday, and Jeffrey Deswan got his. He only, he only got back on the Pro Tour in January. He won his first senior ranking title, which is absolutely great news for him. Uh, it, it was a last leg shootout. Johnny Clayson was also in the final. Six five. It went to Jeffrey Deswan as well, who, but who's certainly been showing a lot of great form since he rejoined the Pro Tour and he's uh, put it down to his coach as well he started kept taking his coach everywhere with him as well so and obviously that's producing results and uh, you do whatever works for you don't you as well this this weekend for the PDC it's a European Grand Prix and there's four Challenge Tour events in Wigan as well on to the BDO and uh, 
so, some of the just some of the news headlines coming out there. They were in Denmark. They had the Denmark Open and the Denmark Masters. Well, William Mandias is the new Dutch, uh, sorry, Denmark Open champion with a six-three win over Michael over Mark McGeady. That's an excellent result for uh, Mr. Mandias as well. And Eileen de Graaf is the Denmark Open ladies champion. She beats Kareen Hammond six-three, and Pim Van Bien is the uh, the youth champion this year. He beats Dan Bastiansen. 4-3 as well. Also the Denmark Masters that took place yesterday. Scott Mitchell, former world champion, video world champion Scott Mitchell. He uh, had a bit of a scare in the final. He was 3-2 down to Wayne Warren at one point and came back to win 6-3. So great result for him. Dieter Hedman successfully defended her title with a 5-2 win over Sharon Prince as well. And just a little tip it as well. As I talked about last week, the big one for the video, one of the big four the World Trophy um, will not be taking place without Richard Veenstra this year as well. Veenstra has withdrawn because he wants to go to a party in his village that he goes to with his family every year. So he's, uh, I'm not sure how that's gone down, gone down with the BDO organisers, but Veenstra sort of rationed this. Very seldom do the BDO have a tournament on this particular week of the year, but obviously they've decided to have the World Trophy this year, so Veenstra is out of the World Trophy as we stand. I'm Craig Birch, we look forward to talking to you again next Monday with more Darts News.